Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? <coughs> it is Easy Things to Draw. Today we're going to go over how to draw uh, Snoopy from the Peanuts. But uh, I mean, I did one already, but I'm going to do uh, the Red Baron version of Snoopy, kind of uh, in honor of the Peanuts movie uh, that came out recently. So I'm going to be using a Sharpie marker to show you that it's really easy to do this kind of thing. And I'm going to be using a uh, kind of a colored, pe uh, several colored pencils to color it, but this one will be for the under sketch. And that's essentially what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the under sketch really uh, thick and then slide it under this piece of paper. And this piece of paper is a regular piece of paper. It's no different than anything else. So let's kind of get into this. Uh, right now, just broadly, I'm going to just put uh, a circle for his head. He's going to be in profile. Circles going to be pretty small on the page because his house is going to be in it. You know, he rides his house as the Baron. Uh, this is the front of his snout. It's just another kind of circular shape. <coughs> Excuse my throat. It's been kind of cold lately around here. I mean, for California, it's been cold. Pulling down, he's got this kind of bottle shape to his body as he's sitting down. Getting his legs. His legs are sticking right up. His foot, foot shape. He's got his hand sticking out front as if he's driving. And he's got a lot of like fingers, you know, obviously. He's got about four fingers. You know, depending on what version of the drawing, who's drawing it. I'm putting this shape there to kind of track where my mask is going to be. He wears a mask. And then I'm drawing just shapes for the eyes. You don't you can do this stuff right on the marker or you can have that as a place marker. Everything is a place marker that I'm doing right now because that, that's kind of the most important part of this stuff is uh, kind of placement and proportion. Especially with characters that are so simple, proportion is the most important thing uh, because if you get that proportion wrong, especially with simple characters, it could really uh, just look completely different, you know, because they're that simple. When you don't have as much detail, all you have to do is, all you're basing this off is the proportion. Uh, top of the house, it's pretty big. Uh, I, don't, I don't really have a general measurement for that, to be honest. It's just as big as him. Maybe a little bit smaller. Uh, it should be actually bigger, but I don't know, maybe too much. And then the bottom portion of his house is a small kind of strip right there. And it's on the floor. So anyways, that is the under sketch. The under sketch to get my proportion so that I can take this and there's a regular piece of paper, it's a uh, computer paper, slide it under this, regular computer paper, and now you can kind of vaguely see it and that gives you essentially like a cheat. But you did the cheat, so that's not really a cheat, you know what I mean? Because you did it. So, as you're doing things in stages. So I'm going to go in with a marker now and uh, maybe I can zoom in on this. <laughs> yeah, let me zoom in on that. So I'm going to take care of his goggles first. Is this the same marker I use? I think this is the same marker I use. I'm going to go into his goggles first. I'm going to put that as a dot because it's entirely black. You know, you got that other circular shape around it because it's like it's a goggle facing that direction as well. So that's why I'm putting this dot closer to, to the right because he's looking off to the right. Uh, I'm going to pull back on the mask. Pulling that snout shape in the front. And then back of the mask. You guys cranium in there. 
side. Look kind of what's supposed to be for the ear, although Stoopy's got giant long ears. And then I pull that line. Uh, I don't know exactly what, that is where the goggles kind of attach to that mask. Pulling down, I'm going to pull down that large shape in one stroke. I'm going to pull down again. His neck sticks out a little bit. Hands coming forward. You're dealing with smaller shapes here, so kind of be a little more wispy with your, uh, not wispy, but be direct, but not as heavy on the marker because otherwise you'll get these really thick, fat lines, and you don't want that for uh, like stuff like with his hand, with his, in his hand. I'm going to pull one. I'm going to try to pull, let me see. Well, I'll pull two strokes for the hand. I mean for the hand, for the foot that's sitting down. Foot as well there. He's got a patch on his back, like a you know, like a design of the dog, of a beagle. His tail. And I'm gonna throw his little scarf on. And with the scarf, uh, honestly, you could just make it flat, or you could just make it, you know, a very typical blowing in the wind kind of thing. Hmm. Let's see. Back of his arm right there, attaching to the body. Other side of the foot on the far side. Uh, that's pretty much it in terms of the marker for him. Uh, but now let's get into the... Uh, the house he's sitting on. Pull that straight, straight as you can. Try to pull this line in one shot if you can. Pull that line as well in one shot if you can, hopefully. That one went a little further than that, so I'm gonna have to fix that at the bottom. I would actually turn the paper normally. But right now, uh, I don't have that luxury with uh, the demo. I don't want to like have to reorient the camera, so pull down, straight down, the bottom of the house, the grass in the front of it, And then pull uh, the striations. Obviously, the house is made of wood. Don't pull them all the way across. Uh, I mean, I don't recommend that. You can, but I don't recommend pulling those lines all the way across. Um, just because it, it's more of a design element that falls back into the, in the into the wayside, as opposed to I don't know. It'll, it'll take over. I'm not sure how to describe it exactly, but it'll it'll kind of mess up the design a little bit if you make it uh, too thick of lines here. They're supposed to fall back. Um, in other words, they're not the focus. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, myself. Yeah, I was like, I, I thought of that. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it for the line art. You can maybe make, like, maybe straighten out some stuff. How do you repair stuff, right, with marker? You essentially just kind of, you're essentially pulling more lines or pulling more lines to look at as opposed to, like not concentrate on you're, you're like I don't know how to say you you're I sometimes when you fix stuff in marker it, a lot of that is to kind of hide other mistakes in other ways it's more like a sleight of hand you know you're looking at this you know and not that you know that that mistake you make a bigger mistake or <laughs> you make something right right next to another mistake so let's get into the coloring uh, I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna use a green from the rose art brand it's actually it's called yellow green and I need a sharpener well, I don't have a sharpener, so forget it. Uh, we don't need it. I can use this flat edge. I can use this flat end. Can't find a sharpener. So I'm going to use it for the, the Baron. His uh, headgear is sometimes brown and sometimes it's green. I'm going to make it green because I kind of like that look, you know, and that's just 100% my choice. very easy 
I'm going to color the grass while I'm at it as well. And uh, the Peanuts stuff, like the Peanuts, uh, the Peanuts cartoon is very simplistic, so a lot of their coloring is really flat. So that actually does make it easier on you. So very, very simplistic, very, very simplistic, very flat. Um, I'm going to use uh, the bright red for the house. It's just red. Even in this Rose Art brand, it's just called red. Um, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to use an orange for the scarf. And that's been a myriad of different colors too. Uh, I remember see, sometimes I see the scarf is red. I didn't want to make the both the scarf and the house red. I just, the same red, you know. So I just kind of like, I picked that color. I picked an orange color better. And then I'm going to pick the brown for the side of the helmet here. This is a dark brown, which essentially looks pretty black. But trust me, it's brown. Uh, and that's pretty much the end of it. If you really want to get hardcore, you can color the background blue. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this demo. Um, anyways, that's been it. So that's kind of how I would go about designing uh, Snoopy the Red Baron uh, from the Peanuts cartoon. Uh, please, you know, uh, give me some feedback below. Uh, if you want more characters from this show, let me know. Uh, if there's any other characters you want to know. I'm going to start working on a lot of different things soon. Uh, it's just my computer's been on the fritz, so... That's why I haven't been uploading too much, but I'm going to probably have a big wave of uploads pretty soon. So, anyways, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you later.